Protests in Somerset after a school bus service is axed to encourage the children to walk. But they live three miles away. Parents in the North Somerset village of Winscombe say a free school bus has been cancelled without any consultation. They claim the three mile walking and cycling route being suggested instead is unsafe. Clinton Rogers has the story. In family groups and year group bubbles, they walked to make a point. Locally, this is known as the Strawberry Line, a disused rail track once used to transport soft fruit from the fields of Somerset. But a safe route to get to school? Well, the views on that are plain enough. In winter, it'll be dark. Anyone could be lurking in the bushes. I know it sounds a bit extreme, but it can happen. For some children, it'll be a three-hour walk, so they probably have to wake up five in the morning or so. If they get muddy, then there's no changing. You can see for yourselves, it's muddy, it's overgrown, there's potholes. They're expecting children to cycle along this route, but it's unlit. And in winter months, which is just around the corner, it's dangerous. Well, this is where the strawberry line ends, and from here it's about a mile and a half in that direction to the school, along lanes and roads, including the busy A368. North Somerset Council told parents by letter that it was planning to cut the school bus, which takes around 50 pupils to Churchill Academy from the village of Winscombe, about three miles away. Now, the school says it encourages pupils to walk and cycle wherever possible, but not when it's unsafe. There's no way that that, that can be considered safe. I wouldn't want my children walking that route. The, the council insists it is safe. What do you say to them? Well, my understanding is that the council doesn't think it's safe yet, and they're going to undertake some work to make it safer. I don't yet have any details of what that work is. In a statement, the council has apologised for the concern caused by its letter. It now says it will keep the bus running but only until it can carry out safety improvements to the route. A local councillor is unconvinced by that. I haven't seen any plans of what, how safe they think they're going to do it, quite frankly. So I want to see it, and so do the parents want to see it. The protesters say young lives will be put at risk. They've now gathered around 2,000 signatures on a petition calling on the council to change its mind. Clinton Rogers, BBC Points West, Winscombe.